Hello everyone. So we are in the lecture number eight of solid state chemistry. Here in this lecture, we are going to discuss the crystal structure of sodium chloride and potassium chloride by using the Bragg diffraction method tool. You may have remembered this slide, which was previously discussed for the four lattice planes and their interplanet distances were measured like this. Okay. Now, if this interplanet distances for the corresponding 100, 110 and 111 planes are uh, taken as the ratio, then the ratio can be calculated to be this one. For the primitive or the cubic, simple cubic, the ratio is 1 is to 0 0.707 uh, 707 is, is to 0 0.577. For the face centered cube, it is 1 is to 0 0.707 is to 1.154 and so on okay so this ratio would be very much helpful in determining the crystal structure of sodium chloride as well as potassium chloride okay so let's now have a look on the XRD pattern of the sodium chloride crystal Bragg diffraction pattern obtained from the 100 110 and 111 lattice planes of sodium chloride by diffracting uh, palladium k alpha lines is like this okay if the glancing angle is theta then if 2 theta is plotted in the x-axis and the corresponding intensity is plotted in the y-axis then we shall found that here for the 1100 plane here is one peak that means 10 point something okay the second peak is here it is around 24 okay and the third peak is around 36 to 37 so this is the third peak for the 110 plane here is one peak and for the 111 plane here is one peak and here is one peak okay so the angles at which maximum intensities of reflection for different orders first order second order third order are tabulated r so according to the orders this is first order this is second order this is third order okay they can be tabulated as these are lattice planes 100 110 and 111 and these are the corresponding glancing angles for first order reflection where n equals to 1, second order reflection n equals to 2 and third order reflection for n equals to 3. Okay. So if twice theta is here, it is 11.8 actually, okay, this value, then theta equals to 5.9 degree. And this way, the n equals to 2, that means second order reflection is obtained from this this is actually 23.8 that means its half is 11.9 okay and finally for n, n equals to 3 for the 100 plane it is 36.4 so its half is 18.2 that means theta equals to 18.2 this way the corresponding glancing angles for 110 and 111 are also calculated it is found that the 100 planes the intent uh, glancing angles according to the glancing angles okay the intensity gradually decreases okay here intensity decreases but here in this 111 plane intensity increases this peak has higher intensity than this peak okay so this is a very good uh, observation in order to determine the crystal structure so if the first order reflection for n equals to 1 is considered then according to the Bragg equation we have d100 that means this value sine 5.9 degree lambda by sine 5.9 degree okay for n equals to 1 so we have just put the value d in lambda equal to 2d sine theta okay so uh, this lambda d means equals to lambda by sine theta okay and here uh, this 2 1 by 2 has been omitted due to the ratio and this lambda would also be omitted due to taking the ratio okay so the d100 is to d110 is to d111 should be what lambda by sine 5.9 lambda by sine 8.4 and lambda by sine 5.2 degree isn't it so lambda is omitted now as half is also omitted for taking the ratio and then finally the ratio is obtained to be 1 is to 0 0.705 is to 1.14 which resembles the value look at the previous slide this one 1.0.1 is to 0 0.707 is to 1.154 so this is similar to a face centered cube okay 
So this ratio resembles with the theoretical ratio of an FCC lattice. Therefore NSTL possesses face centered cubic space lattice. But the question is now the challenge is how does the pair of sodium chloride constitutes its structure? Okay. Whether sodium constitutes the structure or chloride constitutes the structure or something else. Okay. If sodium chloride is equivalent to a highly polarized molecule, suppose this is a molecule. There, here is sodium, here is chloride. Okay. So it should, it should have some center of gravity. And if this center of gravity is forming, constituting this face centered cube, then what may happen? Okay. So if sodium chloride is equivalent to a highly polarized molecule like Na bond Cl, then there must be some distance between these two ions and the lattice point should be the center of gravity of the ion pairs. Okay. And this means that the cation and the anion would actually exist in the two face centered lattices, isn't it? Actually, the center of gravity cannot constitute a space lattice. The lattice points would constitute the space lattice. So, either sodium or chloride would constitute the lattice. Uh, that means the space lattice. Okay. So, both would constitute the space lattices and they would be separate by some definite distance provided the two cubes, this point is also very important, the two cubes interpenetrate each other. Okay. So this is the picture. Here, look at the white lines. Okay. Look at the white line. Now, I'm sorry, first of all, black lines. So these black lines, look at these black lines. So black spheres, not line, black spheres. These black spheres are constituting the say for example the cations okay so this is a part of face centered cube definitely this is actually combination of two half face centered cubic lattices okay this part okay this part this part is the front part and this part is the back part okay on the other hand in between this one face centered cubic lattice constituted by the sodium uh, chloride ions which is shown as white sphere here look at this okay this is the white sphere these are constituting the face centered cube by the chloride ions okay cl negative ions okay these are the potassium ions i am sorry sodium plus ions and these are the chloride ions okay now if the sodium part is separated and chloride part is separated, then how does it interpenetrate? Look at this. Ah, it interpenetrates like this. And thus, the this in between, there are now three unit cells where the middle one is the exact picture where the, all the sodium and the potassium uh, and the chloride ions are being seen here. Okay, you can see all the sodium ions and the chloride ions here. Okay, and these two in, in the left hand side and right hand sides are actually individual uh, space lattices formed by the either sodium plus ions or the chloride ions. Okay, so intensities of the maximum reflection from any plane will depend upon. Now, let us discuss, let us uh, uh, throw some light on these points. How is the intensity determined or on which factors the intensity is dependent okay so the first factor is the number of electrons in the atoms or ions in direct proportion that means if the size is larger of the uh, lattice point then it would it would definitely form uh, it would definitely give uh, produce a higher intensity and if the order of reflection is uh, it is also dependent on the order of reflection in inverse proportion that means it is directly proportional to the number of electron and it is inversely proportional to the number of electrons okay if it is a first order then the intensity is more if it is second order the intensity decreases and if it is third order intensity decreases further okay so the intensities of reflection maxima obtained from 100110 planes would depend upon the order only because here in this in our case of sodium chloride the intensities of reflection maxima obtained from 100 and 110 planes would depend upon the order only because both the sodium plus and chloride minus ions occur in these two planes which is evident from the xrd pictures you try to now imagine the picture the the 
100 plane actually come uh, there all the ions occur okay look at this picture this is the picture okay here this is the 100 plane here sodium ions is present after interpenetrating the here the 100 plane sodium ion there are four sodium plus ions and five chloride ions here in this plane this is 100 plane here are four chloride ions and five sodium ions here in this 100 plane there are again five chloride ions and four sodium ions okay take into consideration the 110 plane this is the 110 plane okay this is the 110 plane here here one sodium okay and here uh, uh, we are one chloride and here one sodium okay here chloride here sodium here chloride here sodium so all the ions are occurring here so here the intensity would depend only upon the order okay so as the order increases the intensity would decrease and the same had been found in case of 110 and 100 plane uh, 100 plane yes for 100 plane this is more intensity less intensity more intensity less intensity but why this exception 110 plane okay so but the 111 planes are alternately formed either by Na plus ions or by the chloride ions so this is the reason how look look at this picture this is also the uh, crystal structure of sodium chloride but from a different angle now try to draw the draw the planes this is 111 plane okay so in this plane only the sodium plus ions are occurring this is another set of 111 plane here only the chloride ions are existing so it would not at all depend upon the order it would depend upon the only electron density and we know that chloride ions have more electron than sodium plus ions so the intensity would only depend upon the presence of the chloride ions not on the presence of sodium ions so let's discuss here's the second and fourth order reflections would be stronger okay for this chloride ions the second order reflection would be stronger or fourth order reflection would be stronger rather than the first third and fifth order reflections because the sodium plus ions are much smaller than the chloride ions okay this is evident from the xrd pattern of nscl so xrd pattern of nscl have already been discussed and this way the interpenetrating face centered cubic structure of sodium chloride is confirmed by using xrd tool okay now move on to the crystal structure of potassium chloride kcl okay the crystal structure of potassium chloride is somehow uh, is isomorphous with sodium chloride so potassium chloride also the same structure okay interpenetrating uh, uh, space uh, lattice of two face centered cubes but the first order spectrum shows that from the D100, D110 and D111, we have found that the ratio is something different. Here it had been 1.414, but here it is only 0.577. That is, it is half. These two are same. One is to 0.707 is same, but here it's different. It is just half. Okay. So this is similar to that of a simple cube, isn't it? For simple cube, this ratio was obtained. So, it means that the D100 is to D110 ratio is same as that of sodium chloride. Okay. But the comparative proportion of the D111 interplanar distance is just around half of that of the D111 interplanar distance of sodium chloride. It is 0 0.577 instead of 1.414. Okay. It is just half compared to sodium chloride. So, is it different from sodium chloride? Is the structure of potassium chloride different from sodium chloride? The, let us uh, now throw some light on this uh, anomaly. The masses of K plus and Cl minus are nearly the same and the electronic structures are also same because this is actually having 18 electrons. 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 is 6, 3 is 2, 3 is 6. So it has 3 is 2, 3 is 6 in its outermost shell and this one also has 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p 6, 3 is 2, 3 p 6. That means 3 is 2, 3 p 6 constituting the outermost shell. So 18 electrons here, 18 electrons here as well. Both are having 18 electrons. It had 19, now become 18. It had 17, now become 18. 
okay so the same electron density so here chloride and potassium would be similarly responsible for the uh, scattering of light okay so hence they have the same diffracting power resulting in a normal xrd pattern of decreasing intensity with increasing order okay that is why if the order is increasing then the um, reflection maxima would be uh, intensity of the reflection maxima would be decreasing okay and vice versa look here is the plane here is the plane so all these planes the first order second order third order fourth order fifth order all the planes would have the same intensity so it would not depend upon the electron density okay it would depend upon the order only okay so if uh, what i say if the in uh, order is increasing the intensity would be decreasing okay so here it is not sodium like sodium chloride in case of sodium chloride what we have observed the order is increasing the intensity is also increasing but here in potassium chloride the order is increasing the intensity is decreasing okay like this and finally due to that these two lattice points seem to be equivalent as a result the interpenetrating penetrating face centered cubic lattice of potassium chloride behave like a primitive lattice like this one okay this is like a primitive lattice just take a 1 by 8th part of this overall unit cell so this is like a primitive lattice and that is why this ratio was obtained in case of potassium chloride okay so that's all for this topic hope you have understood this okay thank you and have a nice day